So tonight's Dr. Nikki comes from fake name Andrew. So Andrew asks, hi Nikki, what do you think is the best way to go about telling someone you wish to be more than just friends and would like to start dating them? Um, I actually get this question a lot. It's come up a few times because in this day and age, all the lines seem to be blurred and we become friends with people, then we're attracted to them or we start sleeping with someone, then we develop, develop a friendship and we still want something more. Now, if you've got a really great friendship with this person and you wanna test out the waters, the issue becomes if you start telling them how you feel and they don't feel the same way, even though you could both turn around and say, it's not awkward, we're still friends. On some level, things are going to be different. So I always believe if you're trying to disclose to a friend how you really feel, it's a matter of testing the waters, starting to drop those little subtle hints, even taking them on an outing that feels more like a date, even though you're not saying it's a date, but going out for dinner, just the two of you, and exploring what real intimacy is or more of a relationship type of situation than just a friendship. You can even make some funny jokes about, oh, you know, we'd be really good together, or, you know, this would be such a great date. You know, just dropping those hints and seeing how they react. It only has to be one statement, but when you make that statement or that joke, see how they respond. Do they rebut it very quickly? Do they laugh? Is there something on their face that actually gives away that they're into you as well? Oh, low. You might want to also start having the conversation in a really honest way and say, listen, I'm really feeling like there's something more here. I want to ask you how you feel about as well. It doesn't necessarily mean if those feelings are not the same, that the relationship is over or sorry, the friendship is over, but it does come with a bit more of a risk. So I think the best thing is test out the waters first. Not that I'm encouraging drinking, but sometimes taking someone out, having a few drinks, letting those inhibitions come down and having a bit of fun allows you to start engaging in those flirtatious behaviors and making those fun flirty comments just to see that hypothetically, if you were to disclose how you feel, would it, re, would it be received in a positive way? But also remember too, that if you do open up your heart to this person and it does destroy the friendship, then was this a friend worth fighting for? If someone is a true friend and you're going to go out on a limb like this and say how you feel, then they're going to help you get that friendship back on track if they don't feel the same way romantically. If someone's gonna make things awkward and stop hanging out with you and not see you again, then I would question whether that's somebody that you even want in your life in the first place, even if it's just as a friend. So good luck with that. Um, now, if you have an Ask Dr. Nikki question, uh, please make sure that you jump onto my Facebook page and send me a message and nothing is out of bounds as long as it's not perverted or dirty or a sexual advance towards me. And by that, I mean directed at me. But you can ask me dirty, perverted things. Okay, bye.